everything is wet. Pit Queen and King in here. Welcome to Radical Underdogs and today is race day. This is race one of the weekend for me. Uh, position 18 out of uh, 38, uh, or 35, 18 out of 35. So that is um, definitely mid-pack. Um, you can't get much more mid-pack actually than 18 out of 35. So um, here we are in the start line, ready to go. Uh, Orange makes a very uh, brief full start there. And, and we're off uh, and straight up through the gears. Uh, now coming down into Woodcut for the um, sorry Cops Corner for the first time. Um, not too bad uh, on the entry, leaving a, a lot of room on the outside. Uh, 88. Um, that is Barney Francis, uh, who started one position ahead of me, um, letting a car here through on the inside. Uh, that's not going to end up well going well, too well, I don't think so. We've got 59 there going through, and it's uh, there's contact. Uh, it's, oh, it's just unavoidable. There's contact into the uh, over the gravel. Um, not not anything really anyone could have done about that. Um, I think once it started, um, Kevin Bird there um, now coming back past um, on the straight here. So we're not we're not able to to to, to defend that. Um, just checking to see whether the car is all right. Um, seems okay. So we're going to go into uh, go in here for the first time and. It's a lot of noise, a lot of noise coming from the bodywork, but we still get a position back. So we're a long way down now at this point. Uh, and there's another car going over the grass um, into Luffield, um, and we're going to pass number 38 there. Um, now onto the back, uh, onto the main straight um, for the first lap. What a first lap that was! Um, so uh, a lot of positions now to make up um, to get back to the, the starting position. Number 38, that's Andrew Dean behind us. Uh, Coming down, making the, uh, the braking into um, uh, for the second time, uh, into cops for the second time, um, heading down into to Mag they are not defending. So Dean's going to make it up on the inside here, uh, not defending that well, uh, and they're going to get the position um, down there. But now back uh, um, later in the lap, and it's a long way back, and we're going to make it. I think, yeah, we're going to make it, uh, and we're not going to crash into into 58. Uh, which is which is good, um, and, and got that one position back, um, having just lost it earlier in the lap. Um, here we are again. We've got the inside line this time. I think Anthony is going to find it difficult to go around the outside. Is he going to make it? I don't think so. No. Uh, the outside line is always going to be tricky here at this position here. You're just going to get run out wide, uh, and there's no room on the exit. Um, so uh, keeping that position, um, and then running down the main straight now to see uh, if we can we can get this position. Um, I did talk about last time actually whether or not the Carbotec brake pads, um, whether I was a fan of them or not. I can tell you, totally am a fan of these brake pads. Uh, breaking so much later, uh, and getting another position, um, the sound uh, coming from the bodywork scraping on the ground is, is not correct. <laughs> Um, and again, another position um, down into Cops. Um, and we've now got a bit of track ahead of us uh, to catch up um, the others. And there was um, number 88 who was involved in the incident earlier. Um, that's Barney Francis who started one position ahead of me. Um, taking that position back. Um, or not, actually. No, no, there's a car recovering. Um, actually, that outside line didn't want to have a repeat of that one. So keeping the position for the time being. I think this time row, he's, he's got um, out of Woodcut, um, down on the main straight, into Cops. We're going to get potentially this done. Um, and it, uh, I think we're going to defend this. Yeah, we're going to keep the position here. Cover the inside line. Cover the, and then, yeah, covering the inside line. Excellent. So, covering the inside line. Um, Barney's going to go to the ins, uh, to the outside, uh, the outside of Maggots. Um, but just breaks so much later, carries so much more speed into that corner. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything really that can be done here. Barney, I think, signals here uh, to sort of work together now to try and bring back uh, the next group, which is quite a long way ahead. Um, um, Andrew behind me not really getting the same message, so still having to defend. 
into Brooklands um, and we've got a few seconds to get on that next group now so we are now caught up with them a few laps later we put in some really hot laps um, not really challenging not really racing to try and get that lap time so we're now I think gloves are off at this point I think the deal's pretty much done we're back up with the chasing this group now to try and recover positions that that we both lost in that first lap incident going to the inside I know I've been good on the brakes on into into Brooklands and getting the position but no losing it just catching it but again losing it. there's a bit of contact here again again from Francis they're coming into the inside so um, two positions up two positions down in one corner back onto the main straight can I follow him through um, through Woodcuts not a classic it's not really a classic overtaking position it's a flat out on an MX-5 there you are but, but getting it just following the car through in front I think they were slow out of Luffield there and down the main straight uh, into Cops um, uh, now I think for the 11th time uh, lap 11 already um, we're going to follow this Gattle for a bit now, there's a few laps um, and we've got number 38, he's been following us, caught back up again. So Andrew Dean's again trying to get through the inside, he does make it this time, didn't cover it up early enough. Am I going to get back on the inside, locks a wheel, no, no, uh, backs out of it, I don't think that's going to, uh, that's not going to work. But I think going down, uh, I'm going to get a huge toe now, hopefully down club straight, there's a lot of cars in front. Um, cutting through the air to give us uh, give us a good run and down into Brooklyn's. I know I've been good on the brakes. Um, those brake pads working really well. Uh, good on the brakes down into Brooklyn's. And can I get any positions back? Yes. There's one Andrews left the door open a bit there and back through uh, in, into the position. Now God knows where I am at the moment, but it's uh, it's definitely not back where I started. So we're still kind of back in towards the back of the field at the moment. Uh, start again, remind you, started 18th, um, had that big first lap incident and dropped a lot of places. So really just trying to find our way back into into the pack now. Um, can I do it down into Cops? Again, not much braking done in an MX-5 really. Um, just a little bit. So not, again, not a classic overtaking place in an MX-5, but carrying us so much more speed through. Uh, now, our face, you know, running our way down to Magnus, I've got the inside line, I know this works. Andrew again takes the outside line. Is he gonna is he gonna make it through? Oh and the brakes locked up a wheel. No contact. Uh, and again losing that position uh, to Andrew Dean uh, on the outside uh, of Magnus making it work this time. Down the club straight. Um, again, we know we've been good on the brakes and made up so many positions down into Brooklyn. It's a long way back though. It's a really long way back. Um, having to defend is like but Oh, still making it down, and there's contact ahead. Can you, oh, just avoided it, and that's actually created a whole lot of breathing room and a couple of positions. That actually stays the same. Uh, no further action really until the end of the race. A uh, check of flag, actually right there. Uh, I don't know what the gap was in the end, but that was a, a tiny, tiny gap, um, and that is the end of of race uh, race one in the MX5 Club and Championship. Um, damage is definitely sustained uh, and waving to the marshals for, for an excellent you know work that they do yeah volunteering to give up their time yeah we'll just go with it i'm not going to get that off now <laughs> <laughs> that's um a lot of twisted plastic duct tape will fix it right sorry duct tape will fix it yeah oh, definitely <laughs> I was pretty lucky with the damage actually um, as you can see don't rip the bumper off but not entirely and this was enough for us to fix it and get it back on circuit without actually having to replace the bumper uh, there's a bit of a dent to, to do uh, a bit later um, and but thanks to Adam Shane Sarah you know we got this car back out on track uh, and I'll see you next time uh, for race two of uh, the Silverstone uh, MX-5 Clubman Championship weekend